So, what's up, guys? How do you do? Welcome to Nation Program with TV. In this class, we're going to I'm going to introduce you guys, of course, to the integer types in Java. Okay. Then, the subsequent classes we're going to look at each of those particular types. There are actually four types with examples. So, normally Java defines for us four integer types. Okay. So, let's write some notes as we speak. So, integer in Java or integers in Java. So yeah we're going to have there are actually four types of course in java four integer types now first we have actually the byte okay so the byte then the byte is actually the smallest integer type okay this is the smallest integer type and is actually a uh, eight bit type okay it's assigned eight bit type so byte of course eight bit signed integer type that's our first one then of course the second type that we have is actually um now normally of course variables of type a byte are normally useful especially when you're working with the stream of data from a network or a file okay so that's where they uh, get used frequently then the second type is actually the integer of course integer writer is actually a 32-bit signed integer type and this is integers in fact are the most commonly used okay this is a signed 32-bit type and of course it has a range of around from negative 2 billion to positive 2 billion okay so we have also the integer it's a 32-bit um, signed integer type okay so yeah now that's our second type the third type is actually the short now the short of is actually 16 bit okay so we're going to have right here these are 16 bit signed type okay yeah 16 bit sign type and of course as you said it's a 16 bit sign type it actually has a range of uh, from negative 32,768 to positive 32,767. So, in fact, the short is actually the least used Java type. Okay, so the short right there. Then, of course, the fourth one is actually the long. Okay, so long, of course, is a 64. It has a width of 64 bit bits okay so long right here and long is normally used to hold large numbers okay it's a 64 bit sign type that is useful for occasions whereby an integer type is not large enough to hold our desired value so guys these are the four types of integer types in java okay now yeah these are the four integer types that java defines for us byte short int and long so of course all these types it's important to know that they actually signed now if we talk about a type being signed let's just say uh not that one all these types are signed okay so all these types are signed and what does this mean well it basically means that of course they can hold both positive and negative values okay so that's what we mean by signed now of course um, some other programming languages a good example is c -sharp, normally support both signed as well as unsigned types now in java of course we have only signed types okay yeah so in java java's designers actually felt that of course unsigned integers were unnecessary so yeah these are the types we're going to look at them one by one in the subsequent tutorials okay for now it's just important to note uh those ones of course byte 8 bit signed integer of course short 16 bit signed integer int 32 bit signed integer then of course long 64 bit signed integer so we're going to look at them one by one um and look at the examples okay starting with the bait so stay tuned i'll catch you in the next class